uh, Victor Boot, the case against him was manufactured. And I think people watching will maybe uh, know the film Lord of War, which is supposedly, you know, with Nicolas Cage, it's supposedly based off of Victor Boot. So, no, so help me understand what's real and what's not real. Yeah, what's what's exactly? I want I want to I want to get to the bottom of this. What's fiction and what is actually real? Specifics of what he actually was doing and what he wasn't doing. I think Constantine is better at that because he had his own transport company going on in in uh, the African continent. But what I can tell you is that. And this is not from what I'm saying. This is from what uh, is out of his judicial records. I can tell you Victor Boot's case was denied at the highest level in Thailand. His extradition was denied to the United States for not breaking any laws. Mm. Uh, but later, his extradition was conceded because at the time, uh, Hillary Clinton was the Secretary of State. Uh, for the United States. And she told the Thai king, because he's the one who makes the ultimate decision on whether the extradition is approved or not. And he told the lower courts, we, uh, there was, there was, I think WikiLeaks exposed it, but there was some funding that was heading towards, or supposedly Thailand was asking for from the World Bank. Uh, and Ms. Uh, Clinton said, you're not going to get it unless we get boot. And that's my understanding. Now, what he was doing and how he yeah. was doing it, I don't know. Constantine. Yeah, and in other words, I have information I remember is yeah, exactly what is uh, Hillary Clinton, uh, uh, Paul, or have connection with the Thailand law and why information from the WikiLeaks. We are watching a US government pay, I forget, uh, almost $176 million by the, some products or something, military equipment to the Thailand government to pick up the Victor Boot to United States. Exactly. And his extradition pro, uh, process is done finished because his must be, uh, after deny in the appeal court, must be going to the Supreme Court. Process right. is not finished yet. But after Hillary Clinton, what are written formations, pay uh, Thailand government and try to, uh, to push Thailand government to uh, take a Victor Boot and pay 176. Then later, is normally this is kidnapping Victor Boot too because it's, it's extortion. It's extortion, yeah, basically. Yeah, it yeah, exactly. This is extortions and uh, kidnapping Victor Boot too. And not only one I'm person was kidnapping, but completely with no due process rights and rule too, completely broken. Yeah. Victor Boot kidnapping, then have another Russian uh, citizenship. He was kidnapping by the U.S. government from the Maldives. It's true. Maldives. Yeah, all of that. Without yeah. nothing process, we with the extraditions. Mm. How this is U.S. government actions against Russian citizens. But, and, but, but, Constantine, I think, uh, Richard, and you too, Richard, I think what you're asking, right, is, is uh, did, did Victor Boot transport arms Probably, probably not, 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 not. No, uh, Victor Boot not transporting uh, arms, nothing, zero. His flight to was uh, I read his case closely, mm -hmm. and uh, his flight to the Thailand to discuss to sell his illusion seventy six. That's okay. it. No but more. My 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 point is my point is uh, you know. Let's, let's believe that the agents were correct. Let's just say, even though Constantine's position and Boots' position is different, let's believe that the DEA was telling the truth. Well, how about on the U.S. side? I mean, how many individuals mm -hmm. in the U.S. have been transporting arms around the world? And as Constantine says, Patty McKay, who lives in Spain, by the way, with an extradition warrant to the uh, uh, United England. Kingdom. You're right. That hasn't been exercised. Why hasn't that extradition warrant been exercised? Because the executives have said, shh, 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 shh. let him be, because he can open up a big case of black worms that they don't want to see. Anyway, uh, my point is this, Richard, and, and, and I think when you allow this lawlessness to happen, then you're allowing it for everybody to do. Um, it's, it's, it's a very dangerous premise to get involved with. Uh, and, and, you know, a lot of the mainstream media has been saying, well, you know, now they're going to start capturing Americans. They're going to start capturing Americans and they're going to start doing these extortions for Americans. 
Well, I got some news for you. You know, Yaroshenko, when were you arrested? Who kidnapped? Yeah, exactly. When, when were you? Port- 2000, no, 2010, port- right? I never. I was arresting in the New York City in okay, the in the courtroom. Year? I what was year? kidnapping in the Liberia 2010, May okay. 28. 2010. Boot was arrested in 2007, 2008. No, 2008 in the Thailand. Okay. okay. My point is this. That's been, what, 15 years ago, more or less? Uh, 12, yeah. 13, 15 years ago? The Americans have been doing this for literally a decade. No mm-hmm. other country has been doing this. It's the Americans who opened up this extortion trade. Yep. Not the Russians, not the Chinese, not the Europeans, but the United States Department of Justice has been doing, started this game. So, like I said, when you allow one side to do this, you better be ready for the other side to do it back at you. And all this nonsense shit that I've been hearing on mainstream, oh, now they're, they're going to start doing extortions <laughs> against us. Well, I beg to differ. You know, I think that started a long time ago. 